Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, uh, February 3rd, 2021. If you'd like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So, well, we had a lot of movement in the foreign exchange market, especially because the US dollar continues to appreciate, and that is just hammering some of these uh, of these previous channels and these previous trends and so on. However, most of them have reached support, have also bounced from support, and um, when the US dollar starts to depreciate again, you will see a continuation of many of these moves. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar, and as you can see, we fell quite drastically the last two trading days. We have fallen all the way from 1376 all the way down to the 40 exponential moving average, roughly 1.06% in the last two days. And we have found support here just above the 40 exponential moving average. We can see as well, we pierced the, uh, the middle of the Bollinger Band. We rallied, but still we're underneath the 20 exponential moving average. So uh, question is whether or not we are going further from here um yeah maybe maybe not you can see that the 40 has been very supportive in the past but so has the 20 exponential so i took a bet on this one but uh, but it did fall all the way down to the 40 exponential uh, which i was not uh, counting on uh, but it has bounced quite significantly from the 40 exponential moving average if you look at the other technical indicators they are starting to look even more bearish at this point. MACD is bearish, uh, RSI is flat, CCI is bearish, and the stochastic is also very bearish. So it this could be a sign that we will go all the way down to the bottom of the Bollinger Band. And that basically means that we will touch the 50 moving average down here at 1365 before we continue this rally. So we're still in this uptrend. The 50, 40, and the 20 have been major support in the past, and there's no reason to, uh, to expect any uh, anything different at this point. So the target here is the previous highs or up here. So a move towards the 50, that opens the door for a move of roughly 1.5% to the upside. So let's look at the US dollar yen. So there has been a massive shift in the US dollar yen, especially because the US dollar has started to appreciate. However, we have run into significant resistance here at this yellow uh, moving average. That is the 200 moving average. We are significantly outside of the boundaries of the Bollinger Band. So, yes, if we get a red candlestick here, that is a clear sign that we'll, we'll drop uh, lower from here. Uh, we are significantly overbought at this point. We have broken out of this channel, which we were in was basically back in March uh, 2020. We have broken out of that um, and we don't have anything. Yes, basically here. We did rally significantly above and then go back into the channel. If uh, we are going to do that same thing here, well, maybe. We'll see basically when we start uh, pulling back, when or not we manage to break through this channel again. If this channel starts to act as support, then that could be an indication that will start trending upwards. Um, yes, we'll have to see. But be aware, we are way outside of the Bollinger Band here. We're significantly overbought. This will turn around at any point. So other technical indicators are still very, very bullish, but you'll see on the four hour chart and the one hour chart whether or not this will turn around or not. So let's look at a Euro, Euro and US dollar. And this is becoming really interesting. So we have found support here at the green line, which is the 100 moving average. We are way outside here of the Bollinger Band. We are getting very low as well on the RSI. There's still a lot of room to the downside. So the last time we hit the 100 moving average, we rallied. The same goes for here, here, also here. However, we have an instance right here where we fell below the 100 moving average all the way down to the, to the purple line, which is 150. However, we never managed to get there, and the purple line is just underneath the 100 moving average. So if we manage to pull it back from here, that could be an indication that we'll continue higher. Otherwise, we'll continue lower. Um, it will depend on the US dollar. If it starts to, uh, starts to um, appreciate even more, then it will basically weigh in on this currency pair. So 
Let's look at Aussie dollar, US dollar. And this has also started to break down quite significantly. We were uh, in this channel here, US dollar started appreciating and this just fell off a cliff. At this point, we're basically in a free fall all the way down to the 100 moving average. So still a move roughly 2%. We are way outside of the Bollinger Band here. So we could see a lot of back and forward. I know it's just to basically uh, enter into this market whatsoever until we basically find some kind of support. Um, rallies have been rejected by the 40 and the 20 exponential moving average. If you look at the other technical indicators, they are looking dreadful. So we could fall all the way down to the 100 moving average before we found, find support. Last time we fell, we basically fell all the way down towards the 150. That's way down here at 0 0.73. So let's look at the US dollar cat. We have also rallied outside of this previous channel. We have, there have been a lot of choppiness here in the US dollar cat. Um, oil has also been gone back and forward. It rallied significantly today. And we could see also this rally uh, uh, broke down as well. So, so there are two things, for example, demand for oil, also the US dollar appreciating and makes this market or this currency pair very, very unstable. So we can see that, well, technical indicators are all over the place. MACD is bullish, the RSI is bearish, the CCI is flat, and the stochastic is bearish at this point. So, yes, I would prefer this going all the way up to the 100 moving average and being rejected at 100 moving average. That would be an indication that we will continue to go lower. Um, however, the last time we broke out like this, we continued in another channel. So, for example, here we had a channel broke out and then we continued another channel and it looks like we're going to do the same thing here so if we go all the way up towards the um, 100 moving average and break down towards this lower part um, this previous upper part of the channel we could be trading within um, this channel here and the 100 moving average so we will have to see in a few days whether or not that is going to be the case so, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button, see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.